school su support at this point. Alonzo, age 59, has been incarcerated for the majority of his life. He not only became part of the circle, but also received one-on-one -on -one mentoring from our determined volunteers. He was tired of the in and out, but didn't know how to live outside. Pro-social behavior was lacking, along with a positive environment. He never, ever had somebody say, hey, I'm here for you, and then prove it. Ten months into the circle's experience, Alonzo's eyes well up while telling his story. I was there when, I, when he did this. They really cared. They cared about me. No one has ever cared about me, even when I was tiny tot. No one. This man has now been out for about 15 months, the longest that he's been out ever. And he's out there and he said, I want to get back. And he goes and he plays. He, he got a band together and he plays for over at the senior center. He plays in parks, you know, as far as the band um, music. He'll play the oldies, you know, over at the senior center. And he's just giving back. We also have a gal that just recently graduated from the Circles program. We helped her get her, um, her certificate so that she could become a hairdresser, a hairstylist. And now she's doing haircuts for some of the guys that are actually in the circles, and she's giving back, and it feels good. What does circles look like? We have three different models of circles. A participant may be involved in you know, all three models pretty much at the same time. The, this model right now is the one that we use most often. The P is for participant, the V is for volunteer, and it's a blend. When we started circles, it came from a model in Ohio that had about eight volunteers and one participant. And then they were really inserting that participant. But one of the guys, one of the offenders, ex-offenders asked us, what about, um, can we bring in some others that have lived this that we can learn from? And we started doing that. We started bringing them in and we had about five to eight ex-offenders together with five to eight volunteers. And that has really seemed to work the best. They talk, they're able to pass on information as to who's, who's hiring, who's not hiring, who's friendly, who's not friendly, and some of the different um, problems that they've, and barriers that they've run into, and they're able to help them with that. This, this is the second model, the Ohio model, where it's all volunteers, and on the bottom there is the one participant. And then we have the third model, which is one on which is individual support meetings. And that's how they usually start out when somebody is referred to us right when they get out of prison. We have two volunteers that go and talk with them, and they talk with them, and they do an intake, and they discuss the past, what their offense was. But from there on, after that intake, they never bring up the past. It's always the future. They're moving forward, moving ahead. How are we going to do things differently? Jeb, I'm gonna let Jeb tell you about himself. Jeb was one of our very first members of Circles of Support. Circles of Support has only been established for about three years. Um, statistically, we can garner probably about a year's worth of statistics that we can use. Um, but Jeb was one of our success stories, and I'm just gonna let him speak. And we have many successes like Jeb. Our recidivism rate, we're at about 96% right now as far as them staying out. We're really encircling our participants. We're really working with them. We've got volunteers that are very, very, very much care. Many from social work backgrounds, um, corrections backgrounds, some art teachers, um, just the whole gamut. But we've got people that really care and it's working for us. There was one thing that I just got today, this is the end of my presentation, but one, one number that I just got in today, and we've been talking a lot about children in poverty. Talking about children in poverty, those who have a parent that's incarcerated. Um, right now, the number that I was given is um, people that actually, the dependents that actually take advantage of every program that's available, federal and state. In one year's time, a dependent could cost approximately $396,000. So by working with circles, by working with, with just one person like Jeff, that makes a ton of difference as far as the monetary savings, as far as um, community savings, and as far as saving life. Thank you.